there are going to be some people listening to this who say, well, why should we even be negotiating about the types of weapons? We should just be trying to get rid of them, right? Going back to President Obama's, uh, you know, let's go back, let's try to shoot for nuclear zero. And then there's others who are going to say, well, what does it matter? Limits or not, uh, let let the Russians or the Chinese spend money on these things if they want. Uh, uh, you know, why do we need to worry about about arms control? It's uh, it really is a, a an idea that doesn't seem to make sense. And we kind of see this the you know some of the polling data from the left, which is you know nu- nuclear disarmament, and then from the right, which is arms control is. Uh, is a way to kind of hobble the United States. What's the case for arms control really in the in the 21st century? I think many of us are concerned, Nick, that we are on the cusp of a new arms race where we would be pouring enormous resources into nuclear weapon systems and, and new nuclear warheads at a time, frankly, when there are other uh, technological yeah. revolutions afoot. And we need to stay on the leading edge of artificial intelligence developments, of uh, cyber technology developments, of quantum developing developments, computing and sensing systems. We cannot afford to be left in the dust while we're you know, pouring national treasure into nuclear, nuclear weapons and nuclear weapon systems. So I think uh, we are going to have to be, I think, very careful, judicious and straightforward as to how we deploy uh, these new technologies in military systems. But at the same time, I always think of nuclear weapon systems as 70 year old, yes, they're weapons of mass destruction. They, they, ext- they extract a terrible price if they are ever used, heaven, heaven forbid. But at the same time, uh, they're not what is going to be, uh, what will be used on the battlefield going forward. Here, we need to be paying attention to what's going on with the rest of this technological revolution that is afoot. To get back to your question, why arms control? Arms control is a way to control these systems in a predictable manner. That's the most important thing. We need to know what's going on inside the Russian strategic nuclear arsenal. And oh, by the way, this is going to have to bring the Chinese in to the game now too. I think there are ways to do that. But we've been working with the Russians to slowly build down the Cold War build up. We built over 32,000 warheads uh, in the Cold War years and the Russians, the Soviets, by some accounts, over 40,000 nuclear warheads by some account. We've both been steadily dealing with, as I call it, that ash and trash of the Cold War. Uh, But now the Chinese are starting to build up. I I frankly think they'll be foolish if they pursue that path because it's a waste of money, especially when we have these new technological developments that will will guide and determine military capacity and capability in in the future decades.